Charlie Parsons, Fight Hub TV, delighted to be joined here in London. We're very, very happy heavyweight. Mr. Joseph Parker, Tyson Fury, Fight Week. First things first, how are you, sir? Very good, thank you. Very good. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Tyson Fury. Seems like he's in one of the best spirits I've seen in a little while. We know that Tyson likes to show off and have a little bit of fun with it. But on the Zoom call the other day, seemed very, very happy. Just being around him, what's the mood like? What's everyone like in camp? This is fight week and he's put in the work, so I think approaching the fight, the closer we get, he's going to be more excited, a bigger buzz, seeing everyone come out to support him. He's, he's very happy and um, I think he's done everything he can to prepare for this fight, so he's ready. I imagine you would have shared numerous, numerous rounds with Tyson and Dillian White, a former foe of yours. Um, just obviously when you compare them, go toe to toe, who do you expect to win come Saturday night? My, my opinion is that Tyson's going to stop him between round five and nine. I'm not sure why I picked those rounds, but I've shared a ring with Dillian White. He's very tough in game. And then I haven't really shared a ring with Tyson and or sparring, just body sparring. And listen, he's a different kind of beast. So you know, it's going to be a very exciting fight. And, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for both fighters. A lot of comparisons and contrasts I've heard this week sort of look at the uh, Tyson Fury second fight with Chisora. Obviously, Dillian's not known for incredible footwork. Do you think that, you know, if Tyson backs off the jab, he could end up getting that stoppage and it could play out in a similar way to that? No, no, no one is really sure what Tyson is going to bring or what White's going to bring because we haven't seen a lot of him. Um, Tyson, the good thing about him is he can adjust and adapt to what's in front of him and you never know what he's going to bring and how he's going to fight. Saturday night, obviously, Dillian's been waiting for time and time again. He's not here at, your, uh, at the open workout today. Just your thoughts on, obviously, the lack of involvement at the announcement presser and then lack of involvement today at the uh, open workout. I think he should have been more involved, but again, that's his own, uh, you know, that's his own um, decision. And hopefully we see him at the weigh-in and, and fight night. Just, uh, just a few more from me. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but um, I've got to ask you about yourself. Is Joe Joyce the next fight? That's the fight we're working on at the moment. We, hopefully we can lock it in soon because I've been training hard. And I know he's ready and I, I'll be ready. And it'll be a great fight. I think it'll be a good fight. Andy Ruiz against Luis Ortiz. That was back and forth. We thought Andy Ruiz was going to fight Tyrone Spong, but now he will be fighting Luis Ortiz. Just your prediction and thoughts on that fight? I think I back. I think Andy would do great. I think he's a great fighter with a lot of skill. And whoever he fights, I, you know, he's he's got the ability to beat anyone. Shakur Stevenson, Valdez. Shakur Stevenson. And then finally, Canelo Bivol. How do you see that fight going? Is Canelo going to get Canelo versus Bivol? Is anyone going to stop Canelo? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Joseph, as always, thank you for your time, mate. All the best.